your vehicle has a misfire, then stay tuned. Because today I'm going to show you how to fix a vehicle that has a misfiring engine. Now in this case the Ford truck is running poorly, but it also has a code. And it has a code for misfire on cylinder number 7. Engine light was on, so that warned us that there was a code in the computer. Now unfortunately many things can cause a cylinder misfire. So we'll start by finding cylinder number 7 and checking the spark plug. On this Ford V8, the number 7 spark plug is the third one in on the right hand side. When we reach down here and pull the spark plug wire off, look, the stupid wire is broken. So this could be the easiest fix of all time, but we're going to check the spark plug anyways to see if it's worn out. So I'll we'll unscrew with the spark plug and take a look at it. It is an old truck, but you see there's a bunch of carbon that's burned on it, so we're going to change all the spark plugs too. And let's face it, since this one spark plug boot was all cracked and ripped, the others are just as old. We'll change the whole spark plug wire set. Now as you can see, I've just had a thunderstorm, so filming was interrupted for a little while, but now we'll go back to fixing the truck. Now changing the spark plugs is easy, you just get a socket, put the new spark plugs in. First you want to twist them in hand tight so they're somewhat snug, then you finish up by making them nice and tight with a ratchet, turning them until they don't move anymore. Just pull up, so they're nice and tight. If you notice when you buy good new spark plug wires, they come with a little package of silicone grease. And you put a little bit of that grease on the end that plugs into the ignition coil and also a little bit inside the spark plug boot so where it goes on the spark plug the metal gets good contact. And since there's not much working room on these trucks and they're high, I get a little step and climb up. That way I can push the wires in better and not hurt myself squeezing too much. And as I said, be sure to do all of the spark plugs and wires, because if one is worn and cracked, the rest are soon to follow. And if you want to know the trick for getting the back two spark plugs on this Ford V8, you jack it up and go under the fender well. As you can see, spark plugs are hiding right in here. You get a long extension and a spark plug socket, and they come right out. Just stick the socket on, and you can get the plugs right out. As you can see, this plug is really worn out. I don't think anybody's ever changed it in the life of this truck. It's so hard to get to. Now you might end up all hot and sweaty with it being hot and rainy, but at least you'll get the job done. And now comes a moment of truth. Will it start? Well, it's humming like a top now. We got it done. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit ScottyKilmer.com. And I'll answer him as soon as I get done with his 52 Ford.